Hello, this is JW, and this is part two of the Ferranti meters. In this video, we'll look at the F2Q100, and we'll power it up and see if its accuracy is anything like what it should be. Right, here's the uh, setup. I just hooked the meter on this uh, little stand, taking the front cover off because the seals were missing. It's obviously been opened hundreds of times before, so that won't make any difference to anybody. I've uh, just got the wires going in here, the uh, live, neutral, neutral and live in that order. Uh, because we don't want to waste vast amounts of power and the uh, variax on the floor in pieces, I've just wired up this uh, device here so we can actually use these 12 volt halogen lamps as a load. Uh, we should be looking for a current of about 16 amps uh, and we're going to use this clamp meter to uh, measure the current. Voltage should be uh, about 250. I'll just use the multimeter meter here to uh, measure that. We'll just connect it directly into the uh, terminals at the bottom in here. And obviously we'll just put the clamp meter around the lead there to measure the current in that. Exactly what goes on in here is not going to be shown because unfortunately people could therefore use it to tamper with the electricity meters in their house. So therefore not going to be showing what's going on in there. Just before we power that up, I'll just show you this little feature here. This front plate isn't actually screwed in, it's just got a little spring clip there. So if you slide it sideways, the whole thing just clips off, revealing the numbers behind. Right, here's the meter actually running. Uh, the voltage is displayed on the larger meter there, it's 251, and the current on the smaller meter at the bottom, 16.26. Uh, uh, meter's running at a sort of reasonable speed. I've actually timed this over the length of a minute. It works out as uh, 10 revolutions actually takes 59 seconds, so that's 610 revolutions an hour. Uh, if we divide that by 150, which is the number of revolutions per one kilowatt hour, that comes out as 4.067. Now the voltage and current do vary a bit over that minute. Uh, it actually starts at about 16.3 amps and ends at 16.12. That might be due to the uh, wires and things heating up. And the voltage varies slightly as well. So if we take the average of the two, which is 16.21 uh, amps and 251.4 uh, volts, uh, multiply those together, we get 4.076. So that's almost exactly right. It's certainly uh, less than a 1% error, which uh, obviously is uh, probably due to this uh, measuring equipment not being 100% and obviously timing it uh, over just 10 revolutions isn't going to be wonderful either. So it seems to be pretty close to where it should be. So there's the F2Q100. Seems to be in reasonable condition. Well, it is one of these that's been uh, refurbished or recalibrated by uh, somebody at some point, so it's not totally original. Uh, now the other one, which in the uh, previous video was actually rusted closed, I have managed to open. Uh, the uh, screw had actually uh, rusted to the little tab for the sealing wire, so I had to cut that off. Um, I'll do another video on this one, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, in a pretty bad state inside. It seems to be full of rust and dirt and other nasty things, so uh, I'll uh, do a separate video on that one, and thanks for watching.